Welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today, first things first, does anybody in the South Florida area know of any barber shops that are available? Because my goodness, it is, it's kind of, it's, your boy kind of getting a little, anyway, the NFL draft has come and gone and my goodness I've never been more excited for an NFL draft before maybe because of the whole coronavirus situation that just canceled sports and we finally have something that's like not a rerun <laughs> from 20 years ago so this this just felt good and on top of that my Arizona Cardinals we finally got some some decent play some really good players so Let's break down all the key players that went to these certain teams and we will discuss how they'll benefit for the future. All right, starting with the obvious, Joe Burrow to the Cincinnati Bengals. This is good. Obviously, this is good. They needed a new quarterback. Andy Dalton might not have been the the answer they were looking for, but Joe Burrow is not going to take over this team and, and bring them to the playoffs. I mean, they definitely need more help defensively offensive line running well maybe not running back because joe mixon's really good another addition to receiver maybe maybe another you know coaching staff but aside from that joe burrow he's obviously going to help but is it going to be good enough just him alone especially playing against the steelers and ravens in their division it's it's gonna be a tough good as well they obviously still need more help dwayne haskins is a horrible quarterback um We'll see if he if he improves. Ron Rivera is obviously there now. So, and they went full on defense in their whole entire draft. So, this is going to bulk up that defense. But they they do. I think they still need a bit improve improvement on the wide receiver running back game. But aside from that, this this will Chase Young is definitely definitely going to help their cause. Next we got Jeff Okuda going to the Lions. This is obviously great, but they do need to address their offense. Jeff Okuda's a fantastic cover cornerback. He's a wonderful lockdown corner. I wish the Arizona Cardinals got him. I was really hoping the Miami Dolphins ended up trading up to get to get whoever they wanted so that way the Cardinals could get Okuda, but it didn't end up working out and Okuda went to the Lions. Um, but yeah, Okuda's a great lockdown corner. Is it going to help now that they got rid of Darius Slay? I think they should have kept Darius Slay. That would have been a good one-two punch. But, uh, yeah, they, they still need to address the offensive kind of concerns that they have. So we'll see if they if they pick it up. Next, we got Tua Tagovailoa going to the Miami Dolphins. Now, I do love this because Tua is my guy. I'm an Alabama fan, and seeing him in my hometown, Miami, um, it's going to be fun going and watching, not going to the games, but watching a lot of the games because they, you know, obviously they'll air all Dolphins games on, you know, on game day. But um, I want to see how he improves. They 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 obviously went, you know, straight offensive lineman afterward after they drafted him. So this is going to definitely help keep him, you know, prevent him from going down so quickly. Um can he stay healthy? That's the really big issue that a lot of people see. Can he stay healthy? And I think that with all these additions to the offensive line that the Dolphins drafted, maybe he will. But, you know, obviously we'll have to see. It's an NFL level now. And if he's getting hurt in college, who knows what these big guys are going to do to him in, in, in the pros. So I'm, I'm pulling for him. I really am. Next, we got Justin Herbert going to the LA Chargers. Now, this one was kind of confusing because they did say that Tyrod Taylor was going to be their guy, so maybe they'll see how this is all right for for LA. Next we got Isaiah Simmons going to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this is definitely a, a really good pickup. I'm surprised that the Giants or the Panthers didn't get him. But, you know, I'm not complaining. Isaiah Simmons is a, a very very multi-talented player like you can't put him at one position he's played linebacker he's played corner he's played safety like this guy can can be everywhere at once and i like this a lot because you just you just as a quarterback on the opposing team you don't know where he'll be the next play so it'll be hard to like 
prep against him. And I, I really do like that because the defense needed to be improved. And I think that getting Simmons just drastically improved it, improved it just, just him alone. Next, we got Henry Ruggs going to the Las Vegas Raiders. I forgot what city they were in for a second, but um, this is okay. This is okay. Uh, he's fast. The next Tyreek Hill, but I think the Raiders definitely needed to address other areas than wide receivers. So we'll see how it works out for them. Next, we got Jerry Judy going to the Denver Broncos. This is great. Jerry Judy is a fantastic wide receiver and he will definitely help Drew Locke in the long run. So I, I do like this pick. Next, we got C.D. Lamb falling to the Dallas Cowboys. I was super surprised about this pick. One, because I wasn't expecting C.D. to fall so low. Two, because it's the Dallas Cowboys. They already have Amari Cooper. They already have, Ran uh, not Randall Cobb, Michael Gallup. They have a pretty good receiving core. So why would they need C.D. Lamb? They needed to address some areas of their defense first, if anything. And they went and got receiver. Now, you do get the best available player in the draft, no doubt about it. But I feel like the Cowboys, that, that wasn't really their issue at all last season at receiver. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Obviously, this was a good pickup. But the Cowboys of all places, that, that, that definitely did shock me. Now, the most confusing part of the NFL draft was Jordan Love going to the Green Bay Packers. Now, there was a mock draft that I saw where somebody actually had Jordan Love going to the to the Packers. And it was it was definitely it's I don't want to say it's confusing, but it's not a surprise because Aaron Rodgers is 36. He's he's up there in age, no doubt about it. Now he can still play at an elite level. So there's there was really no reason to get a quarterback in the first round maybe like the fifth sixth round and on top of that they got a quarterback that's really underdeveloped like Jordan Love isn't even the best he's not one of the best quarterbacks in the draft and to have gotten him obviously he's going to like learn under under Rodgers for years and years to come because Rodgers isn't going anywhere anytime soon but like I said, that if 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 you're gonna stick with Rodgers and have a guy that needs that that's going to replace him later on in in his career, why why go for the first round? Why get that player in the first round? Why not just wait? You know. So that was definitely a head scratcher there. They definitely need you know to bulk up their receiving core a little bit on defense, maybe the offensive line. You know, it's not like these guys are desperate. <laughs> they they were one win away from going to the Super Bowl and they went and got a quarterback in the first round. So Packers fans, let me know, man. <laughs> let me know what you guys think about how this draft went. Did you like did you like the, the, the new look? Like what what did you like about the draft? Did anybody go to your team? I know the Cardinals are ready, so y'all better watch out for Arizona. Let me know what you guys want to see for the next video, and until then I'll see you. I'm out. Peace.